So here's a simple example of this new functionality. You can see the gray line that we've got here is also represented in profile. So we're going to come down and look at the profile intersection point. And you'll notice a new toggle that says process all intersections. Let's leave that off for just a moment and let's go ahead and identify the gray line. Now notice it says locate element which intersects. So I'm going to go to the red line. I'm not going to hit a data point yet. Notice that when this is off, you only get the intersection nearest to the location of your cursor. So if I hit a data point now, I would get this intersection point. If I hit a data point now, I would get this one. Or if I hit a data point over here, I would get this one. So you still have the ability to pick and choose which one you want. Or you can get all three uh, just by selecting the line and you can see that it processed all three intersections at the same time.